Well, hey, hey, ho, ho! Welcome to the Redbeard Show! I'm here in, uh, let me just adjust my computer. I am here in Canmore, Alberta. Having a great time. Can't find my viewing window. Oh, there it is. Hey! We're on screen, just so I can see myself. Here we got Walter Contreras. His awesome shop here in Canmore. Say hi, Walter. Hey, guys. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we're having a good time today. We're going to be talking about a few things that Walter's been working on. Uh, some crazy killer fumer tech that he's uh, done. I guess, what do you call it? I know I've seen it called toner tech, fume tech. Toner tech, fume tech. Man, yeah, it's I amazing. Used to call it toner tech. Check this out. I'm going to see if I can get a close up for the camera here. Bam! So that's what we're going to be looking at today. That's a, that's a fume tech right there. Oops. Oh, oh there's the camera. Anyway, right before I get too far into the show, I want to, right off the beginnings, thank my sponsors. VancouverCBank.ca. If you need some good genetics, I want you to check out Vancouver Seabank. Uh, I want to also thank Kind Selections and Shatterbeard Extracts for sending me, where is it, some awesome meds. I got it over there. We're going to be hitting some awesome dabs during today's show. And uh, I also want to thank Dirty Dave Productions Limited for sending me some awesome t-shirts. If you want some awesome t-shirts like this, get down to CCHQ 307 West Hastings. They got his stuff down there. So, uh, yeah, man. Thanks for having me over. No problem. Woo. And, uh, geez, let's just get started. We're going to talk about a few things. Do uh, you want to talk about uh, your tank in the corner first, maybe? Sure. Let me just grab the camera and we'll show these folks what we're talking about. Got a little fish tank in the corner here, but there's no fish in it. What's going on here, brother? This is my electric forming tank. Uh, what you call Kool-Aid, it's uh, copper sulfite, and we're going to be dipping some glass in it. Right on, let's go mobile, let me show you. So, you know, it's not much to look at, but Kool-Aid, so that's like a, is it a copper solution? Yeah, it's copper, it's like a couple pounds of copper dissolved in some, like, some sulfuric acid, and makes copper sulfite. Deadly. I don't think you want your hands in there. No, you don't. Right on. So let's see this. Uh, let's go here in the light. Well, that's probably good there where I can see. What is this piece you got going on? This is a little Sherlock I'm going to copper form. It so has, uh, this has not been in the tank yet? This is just with paint on it. Now this is copper conductive paint that's on it. I don't know if you can see it all around here. And then I have some magnets on the side. So you quartz. painted you painted that copper on with like a paintbrush. Yep. Right? And and you've got a couple magnets buried inside that copper paint that's stuck to it that way? Yep. And a couple crystals? And a couple crystals. And so as I understand it, the when you dip it in that solution, the copper will only stick to the parts with that paint on. That's right. The rest of the glass will stay as glass. Yeah. Killer. That's awesome. The magnet idea is amazing. And what yeah, do you plan on, what are you going to do with that magnet? Grab those. You guys see this. This is awesome. The magnets will come with some gears, and the gears you can place however you want it to look on the rig. So we're talking removable, movable, change how your pipe looks whenever you feel like it. That's killer. I think you could magnet a lighter on the front here if you wanted to. That's Anything. just killer. Change. Walter's a brilliant guy here. He's also a super recycler. He's pointed out everything in his shop here. He's like scored for free. He's got some amazing old compressors and photo printers. Well, I wanted to point out the signs on the wall. This is a, a template that's been uh, spray painted in the snow around Canmore for how long, brother? Uh, a few years ago. A few years. A few years ago. <laughs> I know I've seen that on, uh, on the Facebook pics. And then, you know, the wall art, he's got the Harper, uh, stop Harper here in the corner too. Just an awesome shop, brother. I love it. Nice basement you got here. Okay, let's set the camera down up here again. And uh, let's talk about this toner tech. How the heck do you do this toner tech? I want to know more about that. Well, I first came into it when I was uh, wanting to use it as resist for my copper so I could inches in my copper but then it didn't really work out and I was on glass blowing tips and tricks and someone was talking about some toner transfer you know using toner tra or decal, decal transfer paper and I knew you could do it with just magazine paper so I showed everybody how to do that now I'm going to show you guys 
Killer. So let's go through that. You're starting with magazine papers. It's like a regular old magazine. This is like one of my girlfriend's old magazines. The best way to do it is just rip off the front cover and the first few pages. Because there's like a little bar of glue here. And to get the paper off, so it go through the printer easily, you want to remove that. And then, it's like a big uh, post-it pad. You can just tear off the pages without ripping the corners. You send it through your printer, print whatever you want on it. Now let's pause right there for a second because I remember you mentioning the printer. That's, it's yeah. not a normal printer. Uh, it's not a jet printer. It's no. not a. It's a laser printer. Yeah, a lot of people are always uh, posting about it being toner ink. There's no ink in it. It's just toner. Toner is like a powder, and then when it goes to the printer, there's a magnetic field that uh, makes the toner stick to it. Whatever picture you want to print out. Then it heats it up and melts it to the page. So what we're going to do is we're going to heat up our glass. We're going to roll it on the toner and melt it to the glass. And then we're going to put it in the water and dissolve it off the dissolve the paper off and leave the toner on. Sweet. So the toner is going to act like a mask, basically. Yeah, We've now applied a resist onto the glass. Yeah. And then what? What can we do from there? You got it masked off. Fume it. We fume it. And then after you fume it, you can go uh, about about a couple different ways to make it look uh, or make a few different techniques to it. One where you ghost it and then the, the fume doesn't go on to the toner and then there's one where you cook the toner in and then it'll leave it a different color. Sweet. Cool, so you got some pendant uh, rod uh, prepped up. Is that what yep. we're going to do? We'll start with some pendant today. So this is a uh, a little rod I squished on the end there. And so he's just looking through the papers, picking out an image. He's got a bunch of things already pre-printed. It's got to be on the glossy paper to remove itself. So I just printed out like a mask pattern. That's all Wu Tangs? Wu Tangs. This is like a Nintendo controller. Sweet. So you want to heat up in your kiln the glass to about 375. If you're using a toaster oven, you want to do it to about 450. So we've got the kiln set at 375 right now. Yeah. So you just slam that prep in there. And then you're going to want to cut out your uh, image, whatever image you want to do. Today I will do a Wu Tang symbol. Well, I don't really know much about it, but I have heard, I got actually, I found a cassette tape of Wu Tang. It's pretty awesome. It's it's it. It's a really uh, hip hop day. Eh? I don't listen so to I just cut out the it looks like that, and I'll lay it down on my chair. Yeah, see that? Still on the end there. Well, I'll wait till my glass gets hot enough. I should have preheated it, but I didn't. So we're waiting for that to heat up. Sometimes when you roll your stuff or you get the toner on, it's uh, it screws up, like this piece here. So an easy way to get rid of that is take a scrubby. So what's, what's screwed up there? It just it didn't stick it all the way. Yeah. In. Sometimes the toner or the glass will get too hot and it'll smudge the uh, image. And you, if you want like the crispest image you can get. I'm pretty picky and uh, I always love the Christmas Of course. Yeah. So this one I'm just going to clean off. You can see it, it's all dirty right now. Now you just... Steel wool that off. Steel wool that off. That's crazy. And it comes right off. Copper wool, this is it. Oh uh, yes, it's copper scrubby or something. And then you heat it back up and uh, you can try to reapply it. Awesome. And it's a cheap technique. That's. That's one of the things that should be mentioned here. We're talking really inexpensive way of doing this. As compared to image pickups with dichroic or uh, millipure. Well, here's one of the uh, lengths we needed to 350. Because it's snowing out, we've got kind of a snow pattern. A little higher. A little higher. There it is. Nope. Well, we got a couple of bench here. We're going to go 
I'm gonna go mobile for this. I'll follow you. Okay, this is Red Bird camera work here, so. Okay. So we're gonna wanna roll this on. I gotcha. And we're gonna put it on, touch it onto the toner and then roll it. That's a pillowcase? Yeah. You just take it and rub it on. Just pressing it on like a deckle right now. And there's two ways you can do it. You can put it, let it cool down and put it in water, or you can take it off while it's hot. Boom. And boom. Holy smokes. Deckle has been transferred. That's great. But this way, you won't get as much toner on there. So it, it won't give you as good of an image or it's just a faster way of doing it. But if you soak it in the water, you'll get more toner on your glass and then it works better as a resist. Awesome, awesome. That's fast. That's fast. That's Super fast. Bad. Yeah, you didn't have to soak it. No. So the other technique, you'd have to cool the glass down a little before um, you no, put it in the water, no, or you can just dunk it right, it right water, in there. Because it's, uh, it's still under the shock. Right on. Range, right? Yeah. So then we can we can uh, ooh, turn off both these machines. Yeah. We're running off oxygen concentrator. Yeah, I'm gonna have to let this, uh, these oxycons die out because uh, it's gonna kill my silver if I don't have too much oxygen pressure. In these That's right. So we'll do another two while you guys are waiting. Sure. Hey, actually, well, uh, maybe if we got a second, I I wanted to point out your awesome uh, your torch stand. This thing's deadly. So it's just uh, another repurposed item you scored for free. Uh, what was it, an exercise machine? A free weight. Free uh, weight bar scan. holder. And he's got his hoses coming up through the pot, through, and that's coming out. Awesome stickers, by the way. And uh, and then the torch is mounted on top. Classic duct tape there, but uh, uh, tape. it's awesome. And it is screwed, yeah, for sure. But look, at it's got the rests on the sides, torch mounts. Anyway, just love the torch stand, dude. And look, he's got one screen up there, one screen here, there's the show, and then uh, another screen here, and then I've got a screen here. We were talking about that, the old days we used to hang, and you still got a few uh, old magazine pictures, kind of inspiring uh, you to make some glass of different shapes and designs. I did the same thing. And then we laugh. Nowadays, we've got the uh, screens with Google everywhere. So when you need to get an image in front of you, you can get it. Okay, yeah. so what are we doing now? I'm just going to roll another tube. Awesome. So you want to make sure everything's flat because you don't want bridges and stuff in there. So we're just going to place it on. Roll her up. And you see some smoke coming off. You don't want to breathe that in. And this time it looks like you've gone all the way around the tube. Yeah. There's a, I took a course with uh, Robert Mickelson and there's a special tool you can get to measure that uh, so you can get your decal sized exactly right. Okay, so I'm just gonna peel it off again. Boom, and the toner sticks to the glass. The toner sticks to the glass. But you can see this way, if uh, I didn't push it in enough, you can see the little specks mm -hmm. of where the toner didn't get pushed in enough. But that's okay. It'll still work. It'll still work. It looks. I think it looks killer. Like that. It's ghostly. Okay, so now we got that uh, adjusted. Yeah, have a puff. That's the East Coast Sour Diesel from my garden. Walter happens to also uh, be a prescribed uh, cannabis patient. All the cannabis you uh, might see on the Red Beard Show is always legal. Of course. Ha! Ah. I had my silver earlier. Oh yeah, you got it. Glasses. Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna hold the camera. I think I'm doing a good job, cameraman here. So note the nice, gentle flame he's using for his silver. Too much oxy, not too much propane, fairly neutral. 
Now there's two different steps I can do. I can put it back in the flame and cook it in, or I didn't really heat up the, uh, the glass too much so the toner hasn't burnt off yet. So I can put it back in the kiln and let it burn off at like 800-900 degrees, come in with some paper towel and rub off the toner, or I can cook this one in. This one? What are we going to do? Cook it in. You decide. Go for it. So you're cooking it in. I'm going to just burn off the toner, but I don't yeah. have the kiln hot enough, so I'm just going to do it in the flame. This is a little trickier because you can burn the toner onto the glass. So it's very gentle, uh, gentle flame you're using there. Yeah. You don't want to burn off your silver before your toner. So once you see that your toner starting to burn off, it'll start turning whitish or gray. Some, I don't know if you can see in the video. Some spots are starting to turn a little gray. Mm -hmm. That's what you're waiting for? Yeah. Waiting for that. Put that five LP in there. <laughs> yeah, do you want me to click on the others yet? Okay. That's okay. So you can see there's some toner in there. I can just wipe the toner off now. using a paper towel. Just a piece of paper towel that's been really, like I have a piece of Windex thing here that dispenses distilled water. And that gets enough, or wet enough that I can just rub the toner off after. Awesome. See, can you just do a general towel. swipe there? Or are you, uh, well, you, uh, can, you can wreck your, you can streak your, your uh, fume if you do that. So you, I just dab on the spots that the toner's on and then it just comes off. Awesome. We'll leave this one in the kiln and let it burn. Oh, actually, let's finish cooking the rest of this stuff in. Okay. Swore that diesel. Sure. Do you want the other one on too? We'll ghost the uh, pins. Oh, I noticed uh, Vancouver Seed Bank is in the chat room. So if anyone's got any uh, questions about genetics or seed queries, uh, Vancouver Seed Bank is in the chat. I do believe they'll be giving away seeds. Every Red Beard show, there's genetics being given away. So tune in. We're coming up on 420 pretty quick here. Can you confirm that, Vancouver Seed Bank? As always, we got some beautiful genetics. Again, if you want to get a hold of those guys, VancouverBeatSeedBank.ca. Now, look. Let's get you that. It's all cooked in on those certain spots. Now you can go ahead and sleeve it or just work it into your piece and uh, That's you'll awesome. have a cool little image in your, in your pipe now. That's got almost a Carlisle look to it, eh? Love it. Well, that was pretty quick. That was pretty quick and cheap. Pretty good. Zero cure on it. <coughs> awesome. Little rod rest. That looks awesome. Whoops, there goes your keyboard. Sorry about that. So the black background he's showing you will really uh, shows off that fume pattern. It's subtle, but it's killer. Yeah, if you do it on like a black tubing and then sleeve it, it looks really good. No doubt. Yeah, cobalt tubing. Thank you. Sorry about that. Knocking shit over. Okay, so I'll try. I think I have everybody here. Lots of ghosts in the city. Well, happy 420, folks. The seed giveaway will be in just a few moments, uh, according to the Vancouver Seed Bank. Okay, let's check it. The 
So you can see in there, you can see this toner starting to melt to the glass as I spin it. Nice, fairly firm pressure you're giving it, eh? Yeah. Then you're gonna to want to squeeze it after. I usually use a paintbrush, I go like back and forth, and that'll give it squish the toner right onto the glass. Totally. It's a lot like just a, like applying a decal, trying to get the air out, trying to get it applied. This one I'll let cool down and we'll put the water on it. Yeah, let's do this one the other way. Put a bit more effort into sticking this one. See the difference? Do you, so it does the decal stick more than you're saying, eh, on the slower process? Yeah. And me pushing it in like this will help it too. Yeah. And if it's too hot and you do this, it'll just come out like a big blur. Oh yeah, so it's really specific. Three, yeah. 375. Yeah, you can either have it too cold or too hot. And uh, yeah. if it's too hot, you can end up smearing it, smudging it. That's great. And there it sits, waiting for action. I'm going to jump here. I always want to use distilled water. So distilled it water, yeah. Residue. Now not every one will come out perfect like that. It's taken me hundreds and hundreds of tries <laughs> to get it look that easy. You hear that folks? He is Walter Contreras saving you hundreds and hundreds of tries by telling you how to do it right. Thanks brother. That's what sharing our information is doing. Going to raise the level of art everywhere in the world. So you want to leave it in there for a few minutes and it'll nice and wet. Rubber, shrug it nice and well. Cool. Yeah. Killer. Okay, now you have. I think I'm going to set the trunk. Oh, yeah, we're doing the pendant now. The Any pendant, different for that? I just put it on my chair. My chair is kind of soft. And yeah, so. I don't know, it's probably destroying my chair. It is, but I don't think you paid for this chair. No. So <laughs> I just squish it down, and you can see it melt the glass here to the glass. the decal or the chair the, <laughs> the decal that's it that's it bam and then I just usually pop a little bit of water on here and you know what sometimes it doesn't work sometimes I'll have to redo it but I'll kind of massage it well it doesn't take that long so yeah. if it does need to be redone and there let's see if we can see and it it's there there's a little bit of a uh, gloss on it a little bit so hard to see with the more. camera oh there I can see it yeah. yeah we could see it when you swiped it there but hard to see with this camera angle but it's there that's awesome yeah so now we're gonna fume that and if you want to put like your logo for glass ball you make it a little dip or something like that so dude it's an easy way to do it dude so it didn't, didn't thank work out you perfect. I just pushed off like a little uh a little piece of the toner okay so a little came off it, okay yeah, little came off. and and so remember folks that took a total of a few seconds to do there so you know if you got to reapply so you reapply so let's imagine this is a perfect image that stuck so again fuming he's got a nice gentle flame you want to keep your glass cold because you'll melt the toner off right away aha thank you got the fume going and then he introduces the glass. See that? Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, you can see the one wing or whatever. Oh, you got that? That's just the oxygen concentrator uh, giving its alarm. He turned off the valve all the way so the back pressure rose. Okay, so you gotta do two things. Just cap it with a bit of black. Or you can coat it in a bit of clear and then cap it in the block. So you're getting a bit of clear first? Yeah. And it, since I didn't uh, burn off that toner yet, 
if I did the uh, glass on top of that right away, it would boil like fuck. So you want to burn off the toner because there's like a little bit of plastic in there. And you can see it turned white now. So I could either like rub that right off mm -hmm. or I could uh, keep it on. Exactly. And it gives you two different effects. This one I'll rub off. And this is what we did on the other piece. Bad cameraman, I was so focused on what you're doing, I drifted. So I just rubbed off all the dust. Awesome. Toner. Toner's gone. That's a okay. lot. Was that in the kiln? This? Yeah. No. Oh, okay, so that's cold. You better heat that up yeah. without cracking it all over the place. the tip of its wing, eh? Yeah. Is that what I see? So the question in the chat was, can you just burn the paper off in the flame? What no. effect does that do? Because they're going to burn the toner too. Burns the toner too. You can try it. It never worked for what I did it. Yeah, well, it's funny, I just finished, and then I continue reading the chat, and uh, DJ Exclaim from Vancouver Seed Bank nailed it. He had an answer before we knew it. Yeah, the two, the two ways of removing the paper is to remove it uh, right away, after firmly pressing it, or removing it with water. I'm going to start doing a camera shot like this in my shop for the show. Let's see what y'all think. Walter, what kind of kiln is that again? An even heat. It's a bead kiln. Even heat bead kiln. So that door on the front is the only door you have. Uh, but it's, it's pretty great. I was thinking that's kind of the kill maybe I'll have to get for my bus. <laughs> Easy bake the other day. I don't think that one gets hot though. Like the Easy Bake oven's a little bigger than mine. Yeah, <laughs> but it feels like it's like that sometimes, eh? And this torch you're using is a uh, Bethlehem Bravo. And note the top uh, torch mount Marver pad. Do we need to turn the, the uh, kiln up yet, Walter? Um, yeah. I trust my work, I don't think it needs to. Uh... No, I don't think so. But we get too far along here about the needles on this. Yeah, this is just a pendant, so really it could. I don't know. I used to put pendants in vermiculite. Did you ever do that in the beginning days? Oh yeah, for the first two years of oil glass, I had five LPM and vermiculite. And that's how you do it on a budget, folks. You don't have to have uh, thousands of dollars of equipment. And then I got an extra oxycon, and then an extra oxycon, and then a kiln. Overfill liquid. So let me know if you step if you want to step back. I'm right behind you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how good this one's going to turn out. 
But I think we really got the idea there. Yeah. So, you know, we could easily... Are we going to run through it one more time, or uh, what do you think? Um, we just tell the folks well, how we do it through the steps again. We'll tell them how to do it through the steps again. I have some videos out there of learning how to do it. So. Really? Well, tell us about that. Where would we find that? Maybe uh, we'll get uh, that address out. Is it, on a, is it a YouTube video? Yeah, it's, uh, you can find it on Talk Glass or Tips and Tricks on Facebook. Awesome. Well, I've definitely referred people to Talk Glass Forum. So that's under the tutorials, uh, it's tips under and tricks. Glass discussion. Under, under glass discussion. Excellent. Top so uh, do some search in there. Oh, and so what did you call the tech there? The toner tech? Is that the name of the thread toner there? Toner tech, fume print. Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> cool. Well, go check it out. It, and there's more videos online if you want to see more of it. But yeah, dude, I think it's a brilliant good, technique. Super fast, super efficient, and it can have amazing results. Right on. Well, maybe I'm gonna set this camera on a tripod. I've got a, I've got some flavors of dabs that are begging to be uh, tried. Let's see what kind of angle we can get here. A little downward side angle on the torch. What do you think? Bah, there it is, folks. The Bethlehem Bravo. So, uh, what do you think, Walter? What's next? We've got that tube in there. We're gonna slam that tube in there. The one we just printed? Uh, oh yeah, let's uh, undo let's, this one. Let's collab one of these. I'm gonna get a camera angle here. Uh, this one out of the water. Oh yeah, right, the water one. Let's see, it's gonna come off with these. Most of it will come off. And this is the hardest way to do it. But sometimes the toner will come off with paper and you'll get partial print. Then you'll have to go back and do it. Okay, so you got to be gentle here too, eh? Now yeah. you were, you really pressed that sucker on there. So I just rub it off like that, put it in the back of the water, stick it double across and rub it. If the toner is going to stay, it's going to stay.
going to have a beautiful dive here in the background thanks to Kind Selections. Check them out online if you want to get hooked up with some good extracts if you're a medical marijuana patient. This is Walter's first binder. Let me get in here and show this off a little. So that's great medicine and great prices for great people. Medical marijuana, fine selections. Awesome. Well, what do you think? I mean, we can redo it until we get perfect measures, but we're on a time limit. We can, you know, just pick a good one and I think do one more if you feel like it. We've got three to pick from, don't we? Yeah. So uh, maybe we should slam one in the kiln and uh, see what we can do with it. It's fine too. I was thinking this can easily uh, be sleeved as well. Let's get the camera up on our. So yeah, so. Yeah, at the gathering and uh, sold it to Next Level. Next Level in Calgary. It's the first one I ever seen. Awesome. Friends, good people. That's a great shop. I can't wait to visit them there. Big supporters of the Great Canadian Glass Gathering over the years. Here's another cool thing I've been doing. <laughs> this is really I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, maybe I'll hold it up there. You got it? Yeah. I'll get it up there. Can you uh, explain what this a is? A GPU from a graphics card. So there's a processor in there. And, uh, it's kind of like Boro, so I ripped it out and cleaned all the solder off the back as much as I could and uh, adjusted it. I can't really see it, but it says like the NVIDIA the processor model. Yeah, it's hard to get a picture on it, uh, but yeah, it says you can see the uh, the processor microchip is in there, intact, and you can read the uh, writing on it. That's amazing. What are they made of? Um, it's a silica base. Carbide right? or something? Yep. Like that. That's I can't amazing. remember what it was. I did a little bit of research on it. That's incredible. Yeah, what do you want to make out of it? I think we should make just a little small brick or something. I'm in Alberta, the land of the oil rigs. Land of the oil rigs. <laughs> you got yourself a little rig company too, don't you? Yeah. I'm going to bring you that one real quick. Right on. Brought some Penticton IPAs for us to taste. Delicious craft beer. You get it too hot. This is like at uh, 490 degrees. 490. Who knows? It might come out really nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the, well, it, it, it might be a little less than that because the kiln's rising. Yeah. So there might be a bit of a lag. Yeah. Came out pretty good, dude. Yeah, so on there it's starting to uh, fill in a bit with some toner. I see. But other than that, that's yeah. still uh, all right. Let's uh, do this one up. Let's do it. That's so fast. I think I'll hold the camera and do some fun camera angles again. I'm having fun with that. Looking forward to doing that with more shows. Oh, there goes your silver. Yeah. It's cold out, eh? Woke up to like minus 25 Celsius this morning with the wind chill. Had some fun tobogganing though. Fun town you live in here. That's a great little town. 
And we're about an hour from Calgary. Is that about right? Yep, an hour. Well, 45 we'll minutes if you drive fast. For some reason, it's kind of confused going as well as I can with just one oxygen. Uh, someone's asked in the chat, and I just noticed it, Gearhead asks, what size and how many Oxycons do you use, Walter? Maybe normally, and then what do we have here today? Um, I have one from my buddy John, Big John Glass. He uh, let me one of his Oxycons. You got it? <laughs> yeah. And that's the one Oxycon Beacon. And, and uh, so I'm running two 5 LPM Oxycons on the right-hand side here, and then one... 15 uh, or 10 LPM on this right here, the left. <laughs> that scared me last time it rolled off there. I'm gonna go above your head again if that's okay. Let me know if you want to back up. I think that's an awesome camera shot. Oh yeah, the search for silver. A little tiny round bead rolling around your bench somewhere. It's amazing how you can spot that, eh? Just amongst the glass particles. Hey, no way, the next level uh, crew is watching uh, now as we speak. Janelle and Matt have just chimed in. Next level, we was just talking about you. Thanks again for supporting the great glass gathering uh, every year. Thanks for supporting artists like Walter and and I and all the other Canadian glass blowers you got in your shop. Okay, so here you're baking off the gently the. Have you already cooked it in, or that's what you're doing now? And this it's, is where it gets to gray. Yeah, this is a uh, might have been cooked in too much. We'll see. Yeah, sorry, kicked in. I think I might have, when I was fuming it, started cooking it in, so. It took too long to fume it. You gotta be really quick at that fume. Yeah, yeah, it's gotta, it can't be, yeah, and, and normally you need to warm your piece up to accept the fume. You always yeah. plunge it in before, so there's a habit breaking there, too, that you've gotta deal with. And if you don't want to fume it, and you leave the toner on there and cook the toner in, it'll look like it's uh, been sandblasted or etched. That's another way to work the toner. You don't have to fume it. Or you can just leave the toner on and use it as kind of like a deckle. But you got to bake it in your kiln at like 500 degrees for half an hour for it to stick on real good. Oh, there's that. Awesome. That's killer. Let's go with this one. It's. <laughs> I love it, dude. Thanks for showing us this technique. Kind of you know, uh, we've forgotten to this point to talk about another cool thing that you've uh, that you've discovered and played around with, and maybe we should take a minute to talk about that. Ah, dun, 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 dun. What's all this stuff, man? It looks like uh, Steampunk City here. What is this? Uh, this is uh, gun mount glass and bar stick stuck to Kovar metal, which is in old TVs and stuff. Monitors. So, yeah, you've ripped apart old TVs, the tubes, and you're claiming the glass that's inside there. Yeah, yeah usually you get a couple bars like this, and they're yeah. about that long. Awesome. And uh, sometimes they're skinny, which aren't very good. But they're still, you get lots of different colors. And you can mix it and make different colors out of it. This stuff is the one they use to make OG Moss. Now OG Moss. I'd like me some OG Moss. I used to have some OG Moss. If I'd known that, that I should have kept it. Awesome. And so this glass is directly welded to that metal. Yeah. So that metal has the same coefficient as the glass. Yeah, 33, it's called Kovar, and you can weld it to your glass. And 
crazy. Well, think, think of those possibilities. Yeah. So it can go in the kiln too? Yep. This oh, stuff right here has been through the kiln. That's been through the kiln. It's been through the kiln. It's a little bit darker. It doesn't stay that's shiny. so it's cool. The kiln. All right. I mean, that's amazing. The, the, and you got a bag of color that you've claimed over here on the shelf. That's killer. We should do something with that. Maybe next show. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Dab file said get back to work, but I think he might have been talking to the next level. So do we? So do you have to sleeve that now, or nope. can we just go ahead and use it? That like fume this, will stay on. You just gotta, work in the yeah, you don't want to burn off your fume. Yeah. If you burn your fume off, you won't see the pattern anymore. Oh, you'll still see the pattern. You just won't be dull. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Cool. Well, uh, what about making that into a tiny little uh, 10 mil bong there? We had that one little 10 mil joint. Does that work, do you think? Uh, where is it? But we don't have, oh, it was on your right. Or even the a 14 mil. We had a few of the, why don't I find, or you find a couple of those 14 mils? And uh, we can just go with that. And we can make just a little mini bong out of that babe, bad boy. Pretty awesome. Found a couple. Did I have a uh, there was one out, but it may have gone back in that box. Oh, you have a whole box of. Yeah, let's make a little tin mill if you can work that. Yeah, I think so. Sure. Do you got a joint holder or no? Not for a tin mill. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't do that. No, that's a little too short for my finger. Set this down for a minute. Let's go back up this angle. So that we can see.
this could be a piece that touched your, your uh, part you want to be looking for. How's that camera? I'll hold it. 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 I've never actually done a Sherlock, <laughs> so I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. Awesome, well we're into doing it for the first time on the Redbeard show, that's the way. Or if you haven't done it in three years, that's the way too. I'm just going to want to find a spot to wrap it with the copper or the wire around. And then you're going to want to find a spot for this piece here, the touch. Thanks again, Kind Selections, for making such an awesome product. And Shatterbeard for taking care of so many people and patients. Well, but I think we put together a pretty decent show for folks to chew over. We don't want to throw too much knowledge at them, maybe. Well, let's cut it a show there. We're almost at an hour. And I plan on coming back to visit. I plan on getting all the way up to Calgary and up to Edmonton and exploring the rest of Alberta. So I'd love to do another show. And Seriously, brother, keep up the good work. Uh, let, we've got to do something with these gun mounts. That is that is really cool. Metal that sticks to glass that we can stick in the kiln. That, that's that's got to come up soon, too. So. Yeah. Definitely. Awesome. So, it's Walter Contreras on Instagram, where do we find you? Walter C. Glass. Walter C. Glass. And on Facebook, you don't use Facebook as much. No. So, find him on Instagram. Yeah. And where can we find your work? Um, next level, uh, the bomb shop in Vancouver, uh, high societies in Vernon, uh, I think it is. Yeah. And the Golden Leaf in Calgary, next level. And 
Yeah, just different places. Awesome. Online. Nearby in this area, supporting their local artists. Right on, well, thanks again for watching the Redbeard Show. Thanks to my sponsors, Vancouver Seed Bank, Kind Selection Extracts, Shatterbeard Extracts, and now we got a t-shirt guy, Dirty Day Productions Limited. Go down to the CCHQ to get those. And uh, soon to come, I'll be working, hopefully, with some Urban Grower products. Pretty excited about that. So tune in next week for another fun show on Pot TV. And thanks for tuning in, folks. We'll see you next week.